Think about any picture you've ever seen that has been taken in space with a celestial body in the foreground, such as a shot of the Earth, our Moon, Mars, or some other heavenly object. In any such picture, even those taken by astronauts in space, you'll observe a rather interesting phenomenon. None of them will have stars in the background. Given that the night sky we see above us is dotted with thousands of twinkling stars, space pictures not having any stars doesn't make much sense, but it's true. In order to understand this phenomenon, we first need to understand a particular property of digital cameras, exposure. The term exposure, in relation to cameras, refers to the amount of light that the camera's sensor captures while taking a photograph. Technically speaking, exposure is the amount of light per unit area reaching an image sensor or photographic film. In simple words, the exposure setting of a camera directly influences how light or dark a photograph captured by that camera will be. A camera works by allowing light from an object to enter through its lens and strike its image sensor, which subsequently helps to form an image of the object. Clearly, the exposure setting of a camera plays a pivotal role in how bright or dark a photograph turns out. The exposure of a camera is controlled by three settings of the camera, aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. In order to capture a perfectly lit picture, you need to carefully control the amount of light entering the camera lens using those three settings. Too much light and the photo will be overexposed or effectively all white. With too little light, the photo will be underexposed, meaning that the dark areas of the image will be indistinguishable from black. You need to let precisely the right amount of light into the lens of your camera to capture a perfect shot. Before clicking a picture, a photographer must decide on a particular exposure setting for their camera, depending on how well or poorly lit the primary subject of their intended picture is. If you want to capture an image of a relatively large celestial object in space, you would need the exposure of your camera to be short, as the object will already be very bright, bathed in sunlight as it is. Therefore, a short exposure is enough to capture a clear, crisp image of the large celestial object in the foreground without washing it out. However, with such a short exposure setting, you won't be able to capture the stars in the background. Those stars are extremely far away and therefore too dim in comparison to the large, bright object in the foreground. Some of you may be thinking that you've seen countless pictures of the Earth or the Moon where stars are clearly visible in the background. Usually, these are edited or doctored images wherein bright stars are digitally pasted onto the black background in an attempt to enhance the aesthetic appeal of the image. However, in a genuine image, one that's actually taken in space, it is extremely unlikely to have both a bright celestial body in the foreground and bright stars in the background.